Dr. Linkletter, Sheldon Cooper. I wanted to let you know I won't be in class today. Is everything all right? Yes, but in the interest of self-preservation, I've decided to avoid traveling in motor vehicles. I'm sure there's a story behind that. There is. I don't want to hear it. So how shall we handle today's class? Well, I'm sure you can get notes from another student. Or you could give the lecture to me right now. That's preposterous. Why? We could be creating a new model of education where students could learn remotely. It could be the wave of the future. Sheldon, it's your responsibility to come to class, not mine to bring the class to you. My Mima gets cranky like this when she's hungover. Is that what's happening here? First Baptist of Medford, how may I bless you? I thought Peg answered the phones. Mom? Yeah? Something I can help you with? No, it can wait. You want the number to the shuttle, don't you? Fine, yes. Let me get that for you. Huh. I'm looking under G for geezer bus, and it's not there. Oh, that's hilarious. Maybe it's under O for old fogies. You know, you're not being a very Christian person right now. I have enough prayers in the bank I can coast for a day. Just give me the number. All right. Now, remember when you call to let them know if you need any help getting upstairs. Dr. Linkletter wouldn't give me what I wanted. I couldn't tell on him to his mommy, but I could to his work mommy. Sheldon, what can I do for you? I can't make it to school today, and I'm concerned about the physics class I'm missing. How come you're not here? I was in a car accident with my Meemaw. Oh my god, are you okay? Well, I can't believe you'd use my traumatic experience to manipulate people. Really? I can. And then her car had to get towed away. It was quite a traumatic experience. Oh, you poor thing. What can I do to help? If you turn to page 78 in the textbook, I'll begin today's lecture. We should come up with some kind of video system so you can see when I raise my hand. Why don't you just tell me? Let's try it. Hand raise. Yes, Sheldon. That worked great. Hey, Connie. Waiting for the mail? Yeah, you know me. Oh, something from Publishers Clearinghouse. Maybe you won. Yeah, wouldn't that be something? You know, people think Publishers Clearinghouse is Ed McMahon, but that's actually a different company. Says so. Yeah. Publishers Clearinghouse is the prize patrol with a giant check. Ed McMahon. Well, it looks sure for... is nice talking to you, Edwin. Bye. Oh, the church van. My grandma rides that sometimes. Edwin, hmm? beat it. All right. Yep. One can choose the extended zone scheme, the reduced zone scheme. Or... Hand raise. Yes. I set you up on speakerphone, so now it's really like I'm learning in the future. May I continue? Ahead, warp factor five. That's from Star Trek, which is also in the future. Connie Tucker? Yeah. Give me one second, I'll help you in. No, no, I don't need your help. I get it myself. She over there all by herself. Looks like we got a feisty one. Don't test me. Oh, yeah, she's feisty. What? She's, she's feisty. feisty! 